what's going on everyone welcome back to this youtube channel today in this video i'm going to show you how you can launch a basic ec2 instance on aws by the end of this video you will have your very own virtual machine up and running on aws cloud so without wasting any more time let's dive in the first thing that you need to do is you need to log into your aws management console so you can see i'm already on the console but if you don't have an aws account and you don't know how to set it up I already have a video for that. Go ahead and check it out. The link will be down in the description box. So after you're logged in, you will see the services option. Go to it and search for EC2. You can see this is the one that we are looking for. Click on it and you'll be taken to this page. Here we have a lot of options. Don't worry about them. Let's go to this instances. And this actually shows all the running instances on my AWS account. You can see right now, I don't have any instance running here. Uh, one thing you need to keep in mind is that you can have different instances for different regions. To change the region, you can go here and select the region that you want. So for example, I want my uh, EC2 instances to be in Asia Pacific Singapore. So I'm going to choose that region. And now my EC2 instance will be set up in the uh, Singapore region. So now in order to launch an instance, what we need to do is we can go to this option which says launch instances, click on it, and we'll be taken to this wizard. And here, we can first give it a name. So let's say uh, EC2 server. You can name it anything. I'm just giving it this name. Then the next option is the uh, we can choose the AMI for our EC2 instance. AMI stands for Amazon Machine Image. It is similar if you ever have uh, installed Windows on your computer or Linux. Uh, you first take an image and then install it on your uh, computer, right? It's similar to that. Now, we have many options here. We have Amazon Linux, Mac OS, Ubuntu, Windows, Red Hat, and so on. We can also choose uh, from the marketplace and the community versions of AMIs as well. So for this video, I'm just going to choose the Ubuntu since it is eligible for the free tier. So Amazon won't be charging us anything for this. Next, we can change the architecture. Uh, we have two options, x86 and ARM. I'm just going to leave it default. And then this is the most important part, which is the instance type. Here, you can choose the compute uh, that you want for your instance. So for example, if you want two vCPUs and eight gigabytes of RAM for your, for your instance, this is what you will choose. Uh, you can go crazy and go down and choose something like this, which has 16 vCPUs and 128 gigabytes of RAM. So yeah, you can choose any one of those depending on your budget. But I'm just going to choose this uh, d2.micro because it is eligible for the free tire. And after that, we need to generate a key pair. So this will be used to actually SSH into our EC2 instances, into our servers. So just click on the create new pair and give it a name. Let's say EC2 server. And here we have two options. So mostly if you are on window, so mostly if you are on Mac OS or Linux, choose the .pem option. If you're on Windows, choose the .ppk option if you want to use the PuTTY software to connect to your uh, EC2 instance. I'm on Mac, so I'm just going to choose .pem and then I'll click on create key pair. This will uh, download the key pair into my drive. Next, we have the network settings. Here we can choose the security groups. Security groups are like firewalls that control traffic to your instance. Here we'll create a new security group and allow SSH access to connect later. So you can see we are creating a new security group and we are allowing SSH traffic from anywhere. So this is the default value. I'm just going to keep it there. You can change the setting however the way you want. Uh, maybe we will create a different video about the security groups later on. And then we can configure our storage. So by default, we are getting 30 gigabytes of storage for free. And for this instance, I'm choosing 8 GB. So I'm just going to leave it default. And then we can click on launch instance. And you can see something is happening, creating security groups. And finally, we have this message successfully initiated launch of instance and then the ID of the instance. 
Now we can click on this ID and it will take us to the uh, page from where we launched the instance in the beginning. If you remember, you can see it's the same uh, page and you can see this time we have an instance and we have this instance ID. We have this instance state as running and the instance type as d2.micro and the status check is still initializing. So this is still initializing our EC2 instance. Once this is done, the status check will change. So you need to keep refreshing. It usually takes one or two minutes. Once the inst once once the inst once the initialization is done, you will see something like this under the status check. Two out of two checks passed. So once you see this, it means that your EC2 instance is up and running. Now you can go to your instance by clicking on this instance ID, and you will see this connect option. Go to it. You can see everything is populated for us. Now this is an interface from where we can connect to our EC2 instance. Uh, this is browser based. Uh, thing so it means that you can use this option from any device be it mac os windows linux or even from your phone in the next video i'll show you how to ssh into your ec2 instances from your shell or your command prompt whatever uh, yeah we'll do that in the next video but for this video i'm just going to use a simple uh, option that uh, aws provide us so yeah this is the one let's click on connect it will take us to the different window. And you can see it's saying establishing connection. So it's now connecting to our EC2 instance, which is basically a server. And here we go. So we are now inside our EC2 instance. Now you can do whatever you want to do here. Uh, we are not going into that. And once you are done, you can close this permanently. This will only close the shell, not the EC2 instance. If you want to delete your EC2 instance, what you can do is you can go back to the instances. And here, choose the EC2 instance, instance state. You can either stop, reboot, or if you want to ter terminate the EC2 instance, you can just click on terminate it. Then click on terminate again. And you can see it says successfully initiated termination or deletion of this EC2 instance ID. So yeah, this is it. After uh, this process finishes, it will be deleted. So this is how you can launch an EC2 instance and delete an EC2 instance in AWS. In the next video, we'll be learning more about stuff like this. Uh, so if you find this video helpful, if you learn something new from this video, give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.